Hey everybody, welcome back to The Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking whiskey. You wanna see magic trick? <laughs> Nothing on the bar. And now, lovely assistant bringing it in. We've got Bam Keeper's Heart Irish American 110 proof. Okay, so this is a, we, we've gone full cliche with the green lights because it is Ginger Appreciation Day. The green logo Day. on the shirt. Yeah. Yes, and to, to Irish Christians, it's also St. Patrick's Day, so. Hello, Ireland. We have only gone half cliche with the whiskey, though. Why is that? So this is Keeper's Heart. Mm. This is actually a blend of Irish whiskey and American rye whiskey. Well, that's a weird mix. Yeah, so I've never had this before, never had any of their products before. Agreed, same. This happens to be the 110 proof one. Which that's is a good proof point. That's what caught my eye in getting sure. me to get this bottle, because you and I tend to like higher proof stuff. I've never had really a higher proof Irish before. I don't think I have either. Right off the bat, and I haven't nosed this or anything, like I said, we've never had it. 57% um, Irish, 43% American. Is that what it says? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I was literally just gonna say, I'm guessing it's very Irish forward based on the mm. color. Mm. But that's certainly more American than I would have thought. And it's got that phrase I was expecting. Which is? Produced by Osh O'Shaughnessy mm -hmm. Distilling Co., Minneapolis, Minnesota. There you go. So it's a distill, or produced, not distilled. I was going to bring that up later Single on in the review. Single pot still. I think they do that part in Ireland and then ship it over. Yeah, so it's sourced Irish and sourced rye yeah. for the time being. They opened up in 2021. I had a whole spiel to surprise oh. you with the fact that this was a local whiskey that you just completely ruined. Well, I was reading. All right, let's get into the nose here. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Oh, Interesting. It's, nice. it's, it's, um, I don't mean this in the joke way that we, sometimes we say it, but it's corny. But it has a corn note, and I know there's absolutely no corn. Like, it's rye and... Well, well, if it's a rye barley. whiskey, there can be corn. I mean, it could be a barely Maybe legal a rye. Touch, but it's, I think it's a. They said it was a blend of grain, Irish whiskey, and pot still. So I don't know if the uh, pot still means malted hmm. barley. Yeah. Nope. I don't really know how what the the grain qualifications for all the different styles of Irish. This is yeah. the bourbon note. Yeah, no idea. But so we're guessing a little bit on the definitely on the. This is an extremely light nose for 110 So it's proof. light, like it's got a caramel note that's kind of prominent, but it's very hinted at. Like, but, but there's nothing off-putting. Like it sounds, I don't think it's going to be a ton of like barrel char, but I see, think it's... I'm getting a little char. It's kind of fruity and floral, like I would expect from an Irish. Yep. Maybe a pot still note that time. Kind of like a... You get like a biscuity note from Irish whiskey. And again, we're not experts on Irish whiskey like by nice. any stretch of the imagination, but... Right. All right, let's, let's go in for the taste here and see what happens. Cheers. Yeah, pot still. Oh. That's different than I was expecting from the nose. Hmm. There's like a, there's a really nice sweetness to this. Far more sweetness. It's actually coming from the rye, I would <laughs> guess. The malted barley gives us like the apple, mm -hmm. kind of apple cinnamon kind of note. Almost pumpkin pie filler type note, which is there. The cinnamon's which light. I'm assuming there's malted barley if the, oh, the pot still. I, I would like to think so. Um, but then a little bit of like the vanilla sweetness um, from the American rye, whatever that is. Yeah, a <clears throat> very very light clove maybe. Yeah, so it's it's got a nice sweetness, a nice appley kind of like it's very desserty, but not crazy sweet. Like the, it's really, but it, then it has a nice burn because of the 110 proof. Mm-hmm. This is absolutely categor categorically not a bourbon, but it's right. still really, really good. And still in the wheelhouse of a nice whiskey. Yeah, absolutely. 
This is, uh, I didn't know what to expect from this. That's surprisingly good. You know, not that I was expecting it to be bad, but just I've never heard of a blend of Irish and rye before, so who knows what's gonna happen. Yeah. I think the proof point helps it. Is, definitely helps it for people like you and me. Now, if you're more into Irish whiskey, it's not mm. quite as common to have those cask strength ones and the higher proof ones as it is in and bourbon rye. and rye. Yeah. So, um, so maybe the lower proof, they do offer an 86 proof version mm. of this. So if you're okay. looking for something a little softer around the edges, okay. that might be interesting. But I feel like with how delicate this is at 110 proof, this is probably more the ballpark for you and me. I think so. Um, the nose is getting more and more bold now that I've tasted it. There is almost, in a strange way, I'm getting like that, um, a slight, like like a weeded bourbon note. Like was, that, the bready, popcorn. grainy. Almost like buttered pop popcorn, but it's light. Like, nah, it's more of a dry popcorn kind of note. Man, there's a lot going on here. It's like every time I go back to it, there's something different. Yeah. This is an interesting blend. And I wouldn't expect it to be as complex and interesting as it is, but mm -hmm. it really is. This is good. If you just poured that in a glass for me and didn't tell me what it was, I would assume that it's either a, an Irish or a Scotch. Yeah. Um, just because of the light color. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, we don't know age, right? No hint. Four either. years. Oh, nice. Of each, each okay. Uh, okay. whiskey. That's what I read on the website. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, there's like this... There's almost that bubblegum sweetness coming through. There's a there's an interesting kind of candied sweetness there's to this. A, there is a sweetness. It's not too sweet, but it's pretty sweet. But it's almost in the grain note. Like it's not candy. It's not cane sugar. It's just in the maybe it's butterscotchy, but you know how we tend to get how I said this is reminding me of almost of a weeded bourbon. Some of the, not it doesn't taste like a weeded bourbon, but yeah. there's flavor notes yeah. in there that remind me of it. We call those bourbon notes, right? Um. The, the pink bubble gum, bubble tape, that goes along with that bready yeah. wheat profile. Mm -hmm. There is a little bit of just that, like those two flavors, that kind of chunk of flavors, mm -hmm. that's kind of like just floating around in there a little bit. It's certainly not the dominant flavor profile, but I'm getting that, like that. Yeah, I can see that. That's what I'm getting as far as that candy sweetness. And then on top of that, there's like these really nice, almost like fall spices, like that kind of clove note mm -hmm. and the rye spice. Hmm. You know what I am getting that is a candy that I don't care for as a candy? And it's real subtle, but I'm getting the green sour apple kind of candy. Subtle. Really? It's subtle, but there's just a little bit of that. This is getting better and better with every it's single It's really sip. interesting. And this is, if you're the kind of geek who has a YouTube channel or you do like events where you like share bourbon with others, this is one to share because absolutely. while it's not a bourbon, it's still interesting it's and very inter kind of in the wheelhouse. This is something that I can sit and have a pour of at any time oh, and totally. I'm not going to be like, there's some whiskeys, you know, like I said, we're, we're bourbon guys. So, mm -hmm. you know, having a scotch a and Freud. Irish or yeah, something like, uh, yeah, well, something like today. that for sure is yeah. definitely an occasional thing. But mm -hmm. this I could, yeah, I mean, this is an anytime whiskey for me. Okay. So let's talk about the dollars. How many dollars did you trade? 44. No. Oh. I guess those I'm not mad at that at all. Forty-four dollars you didn't really care for, but <laughs> just that I was willing to spend it on a bottle I knew nothing about. Mm -hmm. You got to do that when you have a channel. Yeah, you took a risk and it worked out. Yeah. So anyway, I would recommend trying this for forty-four bucks. The hundred and ten proof version. I can't speak about any of the other stuff, but they do have a bourbon. Oh wow. Of an American uh, or American bourbon, obviously American bourbon redundancy. Mm -hmm. Um, but they have an Irish and bourbon blend. Oh. That one's 92 proof. Okay. Um, and they have a 10-year single malt, Irish single malt. That's crazy. Yeah. So they're doing all kinds of different products. Um, they're partnering up with Surly Brewing, mm. which apparently the, the distillery is right next door to Surly Brewing. And so they're using some Surly casks oh. for like some limited release sure. stuff. Um, so they're doing some really interesting stuff. Side note, and I'm gonna, I don't wanna butcher this story, so I'm gonna keep it short. I would encourage you to go online and, and look this up if you're interested. But two guys named Michael and Patrick O'Shaughnessy wanted to start a distillery. I think they did. They did, and they sent a LinkedIn message apparently to um, Brian Nations, who was the, Nation or Nations, I'm sorry if I got that wrong, who was the master distiller um, for Middleton. Oh wow. Which is yeah, yeah. above like, 
Jameson and Redbreast and Greenspot and Reds, all the spots, mm -hmm. you know, and some difference in Middleton. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty heavy hitter in the Irish whiskey sure. world. And they ended up, you know, having dinner together in Ireland like three days later. Oh, wow. And sat and discussed the idea of starting a, a distillery. Wow. And this was going to be the part where I wowed you and said, and they started a distillery 35 miles from where you're standing right now. That's amazing. A local distillery who's kind of doing cool stuff. And to have a whiskey this good coming from a local distillery is is pretty awesome. So I'm excited to explore more of this. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to go down and check out the distillery. I think so. Yeah, because be awesome. I, I looked up some research. They got like restaurants and they do tours, I think, and stuff like that. It looks pretty cool. That would be awesome. So, all right. Well, this has been Keeper's Heart, Irish and American 110 proof on the bourbon note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time. <laughs>